Welcome back folks, MTG Joe here. We're live on YouTube. I have the week off work, so I thought I'd do some live streams while trying to do errands around the house. Um, so we are, we had a bunch of RCQs this weekend, or RCs, whatever, the the actual qual championships, uh, including one in my hometown, fortunately didn't qualify, um, but it was like 300 people. A lot of kind of innovations in Pioneer have come out. There's the Discover combos that are very popular right now. And people are starting to adapt to it. And I saw this list from one of the Japanese tournaments over the weekend. And it's, if you know me, this is right up my alley. Decks that I definitely want to try out. Um, and it is going to be Mono Red Aggro. And notably, the addition of Roiling Vortex. So Vortex is a card, while it does ping one damage, on upkeep for each player it's this is really now kind of being played for its second mode if no mana was spent to cast a spell rolling vortex deals five damage so the discover combo actually just kills themselves if they try to ping or like do the combo so it's incidentally just burn that also has some additional kind of damage we got the eidolons in here for more burn lightning strikes play with fires can also disrupt the combo along with bone crusher giant got Rampaging Ferocidon, we got One Drops in Kumano, Swiss Spear, and Soul Scar Mage, single copy of Monstrous Rage, a Hazard, and a Torbran on the top end, 22 lands with a bunch of utility lands mixed in. The sideboard, the only card we don't have from the list is uh, Roast, so playing just uh, Witch Stalker Frenzy instead of the Roasts, it's probably the closest analog that we have on Arena, uh, just something that deals 5 damage. Um, another hazard. So I don't love Chandra Dress to Kill. I find it gets too easily answered. I prefer Torture Defiance, but I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it plays. Uh, the other card that I'm considering here is Dampening Spear. It does stop the uh, combo, the Discover combo. It helps against Mono Green Devotion. It also helps against um, Blue White Lotus Field, which is probably gonna be a deck we run into. And just kind of give it a feel for how it plays. Chain Whirler is very good against Convoke. Incidentally, decent against humans or the rogues if you can time it well. Some rending volleys in there as well. Um, some cards I may want to consider is something like a Braid. Uh, just having another cheap uh, kind of removal spell. Helps against the sack matchup, stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to give this one a go, see how it plays out. And uh, let's see if Mono Red can beat up on some discover combos um my ranks like pretty i think i'm still platinum i don't know i haven't i'm still platinum i haven't played much um i was doing just leagues so i'm at like 13 playing points i'm just going that route instead of ladder now um but we are live hey Guilherme. how's it going So we'll do this. There's an update to the Gruel Vehicles list. That's a deck I want to try out some of the new cards because I have it in paper. Um, so I want to test out the cards before I order some of them. And then there's the Convoke deck that got the new Warden. We'll try that out. There's the Amalia combo, uh, the Infinite combo there. So there's a lot of kind of cool stuff uh, that we're going to be doing. I'm going to split these videos up for YouTube after. So if you're interested, I'll cut and paste as opposed to kind of the long stream. But we'll see how it goes, how it plays out. And um, yeah, taking a while to find an opponent here. So the Discover combos like over the weekend had a pretty up and down. Like it, a couple of them placed pretty high. Overall, I think it was somewhat expected. We're seeing things like Dranith Magistrate amongst other cards getting played. Um, Dampening Spear. There's like a lot of incidental kind of hate pieces that exist. We'll play first. I uh, don't love the double ramen up, but I think all things considered, this is a pretty solid hand. Very aggressive, which is what I like. Beanstalk, that's an interesting one because I actually don't know what's going to be playing this beanstalk, but let's go super aggro. We've done almost as much damage to ourselves. I might upkeep play with fire. Okay, so they are...
merfolk. I was considering going face if it was more of a control deck, but with monstrous rage in hand. I think here we just rage. So one sec. So that's three damage going through there at ten. That's three, seven, no, so they're not quite dead, so we're just gonna I'll probably kill this one now. Just to get the extra prowess trigger. Get that value at least, and then uh, next turn this flips, and then I should be able to push through the remaining damage because they could only play one creature. So nice, nice aggressive start. So here I'm probably going to bring in the Frenzies. Probably the Rending Volley, probably the Chain Whirlers. I'm going to take out Roiling Vortex, and I'm also going to take out Eidolon. Um, this isn't a matchup that we necessarily want to be that aggressive, in the sense of... Um, this could hit some of their Blue Lords and stuff, that's why I like it. Um, but we're going to deal more damage to ourselves in this case, so it's not the best. Um, all things considered, I think we're just going to take out a Ferocidon. Now, they could be making a lot of tokens, so I don't hate that. I think the one of Monstrous Rage is fine. Might be Hazaret. Just give it... I mean, it's indestructible, so it's a pretty solid blocker. I think we just trim a Kumano. Uh, the the, uh, the schooner? Yeah, I, had, I wanted to try that one. It seemed like schooner seems like a really good card, but I guess just incidentally getting hit by like random stuff. Uh, this hand's a little sketch, but we'll try it. So they might have Aether Gust. How was the, the rest of the deck? Like, obviously, Fatal Push is going to beat up on a lot of our kind of aggressive decks, but... Okay, so they could have the Flash Lord. I think we're just going Soul Scar here. Yeah, Voidian Hexcatcher. So the thing here, I can Rending Volley this, so then they can't counter it, and then I have these Play With Fires, so I can potentially clear out their board. Okay, we're good on lines. I want to see if they get into a bad block situation. So notably, they can't counter this. Prevent all combat damage. Yeah. But that's not combat. So that's an interesting one. Wasn't planning on playing around that. Um, so given that, we're just going to hold off here. I don't want to use these when we don't get the prowess benefit. So we see Scout here. We have Kumano on top, going to the bin. So this is kind of the engine of the deck. Yeah, we're flooding pretty bad. And the problem is we're also drawing like just basics as opposed to like utility lines. So we'll get rid of this. 
Honestly, play with fire in the dark is better than most spells, just because we could shrink stuff. And like now they know face up that we have to play with fire. Block, block, do it, do it, do it. So Soul Scar's got other text that shrinks it down, so they don't even get the kill here. It's a pretty bad block, I think, on their part. But we are at a spell. Oh god. Flooding way too hard here. Okay, so what they should have done was animate and then done the flash in. They had that as a block. So that potentially could have worked, helped them out. Okay, so we have Chain Whirler. I mean, at this point, we just got to throw out what we get. That was actually a mistake on my part. If I did the attack first, then my thing wouldn't have died. Okay, so that can help. Let's see how they want to block here. So I think we just try to go for lethal. Yeah, we get it there. All right. That felt very good, and we flooded. Turns out, very aggressive one drops with burn. For folks just tuning in, we are trying some Vortex Red, uh, hoping to run into Discover combos, and then people not read the card, and then Roiling Vortex deal a whole bunch of damage to them each time they try to combo out. Just took down Merfolk. So we're going to jump in, play some more. Rolling Vortex went up like, they're like seven bucks now here. I should have just bought my like full arts for a dollar when I had the chance. Alrighty, jump back in. You know what? Let's hope uh, they might not be discovered, but I want to see how these Vortex play out. We have a pretty aggressive hand. If we get a 2-drop, it's not too bad either. Rakdos. I mean, if you want to Thought Seize yourself against the Burn deck, okay. Probably. So Vortex is a bit of a liability in the Rakdos matchup. They do play creatures, so they can turn the corner pretty quick. Like if they just go Harvester here, yeah. I think we get rid of the Harvester. Like, we're ahead on the clock right now. But, like, even stuff like Croxa is pretty bad. It was a bit of a iffy keep. Yeah, so they missed land, which is good at least. To get them down to eight. The nice thing with this is at least it's um, two damage if they try to remove it. Especially if they're just going Bankbuster here. Like every turn they don't get to shield it, it's good for us.
think we just do this. So if they go Graveyard Trespasser, they can't even gain a life because there's no... Well, actually, there's a creature in the yard, so I guess they gain one there. But like here, if they don't answer... Hey, Holy. Um, I'm going to record all the other metagame videos probably tomorrow and then have them in the next day or two. So uh, my plan today is because I had a couple open hours. I wanted to... Let me just sideboard really quick. I'll answer. Um, so this matchup, I want the Chandra's. I want the Hazaret. I want the Witch Frenzy. Uh, Torbrand could come out. It's the weakest of them. Um, Eidolon's interesting. A monstrous Rage could come out. It's pretty bad. I think we just trim along the edges here. So one thing I'm noticing, I don't have a great board for this matchup. Now, I don't think they keep Croxa in on us. Um, it's a little slow, and then we've already shown Vortex and just ways to kind of punish. We have like Hearse, which is okay, but kind of slow. The volleys don't do much. I think we just run it like this. Uh, yeah, so I had a, cu a couple hours, so I wanted to do a live stream today. I also, I got that itch to play some Magic, so I wanted to play some games. Uh, but usually Standard Best of One comes out on Sundays. I think this is okay. I just don't want to... Mulligan, they probably take out Thoughtseize. Wow, they brought in Duress against us. Like, we stole that first game, they kind of stumbled, but I think... So I'm going to do this first. A fatal push here. We'll go Eidolon. Problem is, like this hand, I have no answer to this shield. Okay, so they missed again aligned, which is great for us. I'm starting to think this opponent plays like 22 lines in the Rakdos deck. We'll see what they do here. They can take the damage there. We'll let this die. I think we throw three here. So part of the reason why I'm holding these spells is because one of their de removal spells is Stomp. So I'm able to kind of nullify the Stomp by using Lightning Strike there. Um, so it's kind of a balance. Like, I obviously want to get the prowess triggers. Okay, so we got that, which is nice. So I am going to just throw three here. So if I do this, that brings them to five. So this brings them to five. And then that's another three that brings them to two. And now they're just dead to my land unless they can gain some life. Alrighty. Get in there. I do think I want to adjust my sideboard. I want one more resilient piece for the Rakdos matchup. I think we're playing a bit too much. I also don't love Torbran, all things considered, but we'll try it for now. Um, like, I think Dress to Kill is too weak in a lot of these matchups. We could trim a Dampening Spear and just play Torch of Defiance. Well, I don't understand why Wizards refuses to, like, default to the good arts. Alrighty. 2-0.
Oops, let's jump in another game, see how that plays out. So we'll probably do three, four matches, depending. And then we'll switch up. I want to try out a couple different decks today. Honestly, with so many utility lines, I would probably run 25. Because I think now I've been seeing... So they run like one to two castles. They run two hives, two dens. I've seen the Rakdos creature, Restless Vents, I think it's called, uh, being played in there. You have Takanuma, you have Sokazan. Like there's so many good lands. Like this list is running 22. I would even be inclined, like we've been flooding oddly enough, but between like Den and all that, I just think there's so many good lands. I'm actually curious now. How many of the, uh, the stock list runs? No Karuga Companion. I think... I'm going to keep in the dark. It's a little iffy. So I'm actually going to do this because I just want to turn off the Bone Crusher or the um, the Fatal Push this turn. Uh, so the stock runs 25. Yeah, I picked up um, some of the ninjas are on sale for uh, historic ninjas. At least one is. Yeah, a little rough here. It might have been right to lead with Swiss Spear and then keep Soul Scar because it could shrink down the bigger things like Shieldred. But I think all things considered, I'm in a pretty bad spot. A lot of Rakdos today. Um, so the question is, how do I want to play out this turn? I can get in some points of damage. I can go Ferocidon. If they just have the other push, then it's pretty bad. But not spending all your mana this turn feels pretty bad as well. The double push starts rough. Yeah, no, that one was pretty sweet. I haven't played much standard, to be honest. I, uh, I've seen a lot of Esper decks going around from the challenges. Do you have another push? Because like they're getting priority from this. Probably should have attacked first. Okay. Three pushes in the top 11. Regardless of our sequencing there, it doesn't make a difference. So I'm not like too upset by it. Um, Torbrand could come out. Chain Whirler probably comes out. Do I like Chain Whirler more than some of the other cards? So they got a lot of Fatal Push in. I really... I really wish we uh, got the metagame challenge. Those were always my favorite. Um, I think it's... I think on the play, I want the Vortex. Probably just trim the play with fire. 
And maybe... Yeah, let's just trim the playoff fires. It, that's kind of frustrating. Uh, Anders, are you asking what I've been playing in Standard? I haven't played Standard in since the new set. I think I played one or two games. I don't love mulliganing. Play with fire back. I like the other hand because I had Roiling Vortex, but uh, just not going to draw lines now. That's cool. Usually, like, I'll run standard if they have the metagame challenge to try things out, but. I largely didn't enjoy what the meta was, uh, and just with the way it's kind of moved. The missing line there kind of hurts. This opponent's very good at drawing fatal pushes. We wanted to get, like, Chandra down there. Oh, um, I was playing a lot yesterday. I was doing um, alchemy challenges. I was playing like an Esper kind of Rusko mid-range flash deck. I went 5-3-7-1-6-3-7-0 oh with it. I can show it after this game. We're probably dead here. We mulliganed and drew nothing. And our opponent's probably going to shield it here. Blood ties. Probably just going to concede this one. Especially if we don't draw lined here. Yeah, that game was just just a bit awkward. The first game they drew off fatal pushes, you're not going to do much against that. And then the second game, if we hit a line drop, I think we're okay. Um, but in that game, we're just getting absolutely tempoed the hell out. Um, so I've been running this. Basically just like Rusko, a uh, bunch of removal. So it's like Esper control tempo, but... Uh, I wanted flash threats, like, the Virtue is a good way to kind of put pressure while interacting. Sorum's Ransom's card advantage, and then incidentally, like, the Palatir, your opponent either has to provide you card advantage or they take a lot of damage. A lot of good creature lands in here. Uh, the Porcin Portent's pretty sweet card as well. But, uh, like, the Mono Red deck, I actually lost to it. Or no, I lost to the Boros Human deck in Best of One, but... Like, they lost a lot of the strong cards from when I was running the mono red deck. We'll run one more at this, see how it plays out. I think just, uh, that match was a little, a little tough. I want to run into the Discover combo. Like, if it's just Rakdos, then I build this deck different. Okay, Karuga. Our opponent is about to learn the ways of the Roiling Vortex. So I actually think if you're going to play this deck, while Karuga does have utility, it just telegraphs so obvious what you're on that I think it's actually beneficial to not play Karuga. Because like in this hand, like I'm going to aggressively mulligan to this. And then I'm always going to keep up interaction. So I know like a hand like this, while in most matchups is pretty slow, is something that I want in this particular matchup.
Hello. Where'd you go? What are you playing, Anders? This could just be enigmatic, but they usually will play. So this might be the... So they might have Leyline Binding. Well, here's a second copy. Let's see if they do it. So I'll get a couple pings of damage here. So there are fires of invention, but you know what causes you to lose the game? So Roiling Vortex, very good against fires. Um, so they're Karuga fires. Chandra, Chandra. I think we get rid of Rage here. And probably Torbran. Like, we're probably not winning the long run. I want everything that deals damage, so we'll just do this. This sounds reasonable. Obviously no vortex, but still a nice aggressive start. Hmm. My thought here is if they don't have Clarion, then I'm doing five. Ah, oh, so they have Lockdown. That's interesting. So wasn't planning on playing around that. Now we're probably pretty far behind. The Lockdown's going to hit the Vortex as well. So we may want to slightly change our board plan. Ideally, I draw a land Ishandra. Cool. So Chandra here pluses. I get mana. I actually think we minus here. They missed a line drop, and I'd rather keep five points of burn in hand.
Um, on it, you should try. Uh, oh, I forget the Ikoria two drop white one three. Uh, I'll pull it up after this. It stops the combo. You can also play Dampening Sphere. So they can't go Leyline Binding. Can go Enigmatic though. That's a problem. So what do they get here at three? Or at four? That's a good kind of turn three for them. Fortunately, I'm seven damage on board. They get a creature, actually they're dead. Depending on what they get. They could get Skyclave Apparition. Yeah, they get Heliod, so they are dead. So we just don't cast. Even with this, we can cast. Just let him know that we had it. Just let him know. All right. So we got dumpstered once by Rakdos with like God tier fatal push hand. But this one cleaned up pretty nice. So I honestly just think like no Torbran is the way to go. I never like Torbran in these lists. I think it's just a win more card when you're already ahead. I would just play the Chandra main or another Ferocidon. You could go the second Hazaret, but I don't like two legendaries at your four drop slot. So I would just move the Chandra Torch of Defiance main, and then you can play one more removal spell, probably just a braid, maybe in the side. And that's probably where I would take it. But we uh we did pretty impressive things with this deck, all things considered. <laughs> 